All right, for our first ever Flip Tips clip analysis, we are going to be talking about this wall full from my friend Ty out here in Phoenix. Uh, he sent this to me asking me to analyze it. So we are going to basically look at um, what is working, what isn't working, where are the technique leaks, and um, what's the best way to go about improving it. So let's just watch it first. So we notice a few things about this is um, uh, one, it's a very cheated wall full, which nothing necessarily wrong with that. It does make things a little more complicated though. Uh, and the issue that often arises when people are cheating wall fulls or not cheating wall fulls is they're doing one part of the technique for a non-cheated wall full and one part of the technique for a cheated wall full. So let's break this skill down into its its base skill. The base skill is obviously a wall flip, right? Um, now, it's a wall flip if you're doing a straight over wall full. If you are not doing a straight over wall full, the base skill of a cheated wall full is a wall Arabian. Um, so if you watch closely on this takeoff right here, uh, Normally, if you were going to do a straight over non-cheated wall full, right here you'd be focusing on trying to use the wall to push your hips above your head as much as possible. So trying to get your hips right here to rise this way so that they would start flipping over your head. Now, because Ty is already facing sideways because he's planning on doing a cheated wall full, things get a little more complicated because instead of being able to push his hips over in the traditional backflip way, he's going to have to push his hips over his head the other way like a front flip, so he's going to have to push his butt over his head. So right here, what we should be seeing is using this foot to press this hip up this way, right? That is what would begin the flip, and we know that we have to start a flip before we do a twist, otherwise we end up with weird stuff. Um, as we can see, this hip is not rising very much. It kind of stops right there, and so what you'll notice is the flip completely stops at, after this point and it turns into only a twist. Um, so the first thing I noticed that could be uh, improved is this, this hip rise. Yeah, when you decide to do a wall full, either cheated or not cheated, you have to change the way you set accordingly. So if you're going to do a straight over wall full, you're going to want to use this foot to push the front of your hip as high into the air as possible. If you are going to do a cheated wall full, you are going to try to use this foot to push your butt as far over your head as possible like a front foot. And so that's the first thing that should probably be worked on. Um, Wall Arabian. If you're having trouble with that, go back to Wall Arabian. Always go back a skill because whatever the problem you have with a skill is, I almost guarantee you that you will have that problem with the skill before. Um, so working on Wall Arabian is a good way to fix that. Now what we see here is the result of that problem is look at how tight Ty needs to get in in order to complete that flip because he has very little flip in his set. If your set is not effective, you're going to have to make up for it by tucking tighter. So he's nearly in a ball, which means he cannot efficiently twist, right? And so if he wanted to progress to a wall double fold, this would become a problem because he needs to be in this tight shape in order to make it around to his feet. Uh, but a tucked shape is not ideal for twisting. You're not going to twist very fast. Uh, at the end here, we'll see he's coming around and landing with chest very low, which would make sense for a flip without a lot of set. Uh, as you will notice as we go through more of these flip tip analyses is an important thing to do is to go back to the beginning of a skill. Usually nobody is trying to do a skill wrong. What happens, it, especially in the middle or the end, and what happens is a lot of people get too stuck on what the middle of their flip or the end of their flip looks like without thinking about the fact that if the beginning of your flip is bad, nothing else afterwards can be good. You can't do a crappy set and then pull a really nice back tuck. And if you're doing a crappy set, there's no point trying to fix anything else until you fix this set. So it, what I believe will happen is that if Ty were to work on his wall Arabian and work on using this foot to create more of this hip going over his head, I believe that everything else, including him being too tucked and him landing with his chest low, I believe all of that would get better without having to think about that. Um, 
So my recommendation here is work on wall reading. Get your butt going over your head. Once your butt's going over your head and you're getting a good set off the wall, you can relax a lot more and focus on the next part of the skill, which is the twist. We don't want to have to be worrying about making up for a bad set during the rest of our skill. Uh, the takeaway from this, even if you're not working on wall full, is go back. Go back to the beginning of the skill. Go back to the skill before. Find the very first thing that goes wrong and work from there. Don't get so focused on the landing in the middle that you forget that the beginning is the most important part. Uh, I have a couple more clips uh, saved up for the next couple weeks of this. If you have clips you want to send in that you want me to analyze, if you're interested in seeing where your technique leaks are, what you could be doing better, send those in to me. I'd be happy to analyze them. Uh, but for now, that's flip tip analysis one, and I will see you guys next time.